Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Y'all want to know what is the crazy stuff going on today? Well, not exactly today, but this, this article was taken from the Daily Mail, and it's called The Umbrella Man. The Umbrella Man was caught on viral video at George Floyd protest, um, and he suspected of being a white supremacist. Okay, so if you go back and look at that footage from um, all the Minnesota protest footage, I, I would say you'll see a guy dressed in all black carrying an umbrella walking by an auto zone store, which is also where I think that they, um, uh, 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 well, that's neither here nor there. Let me just stick to this story right here. The masked man recorded smashing the window of a Minneapolis auto zone during the early George Floyd protest is a suspected white supremacist who was trying to incite a racial riot, cops uh, reportedly believe. A Minneapolis police arson detective says the 32-year-old man's actions, which were captured on video, helped set off a chain reaction that led to the store burning and days of looting and rioting, according to a search warrant affidavit obtained by the Minneapolis Star Tribune. Okay, this was the first fire that set off a string of fires and looting throughout the precinct and the rest of the cities, said the investigator, uh, Erica Christensen. Um, and she reportedly wrote in that affidavit that was filed in court this week. Um, before Umbrella Man started shattering the store's glass, the protests had been relatively peaceful. This video had been removed from YouTube, and it shows exactly who broke the windows at AutoZone. Please retweet and help identify this instigator. And it's really amazing because as I'm sitting here watching uh, my channel, there's just a lot of videos that have been, you know, released that I thought that I, um, you know, sent up or I loaded up, but they weren't actually showing. And I don't know what's going on with these numbers and stuff, but and the videos. However, I just stay, try to, you know, just be consistent in what I say, and sometimes it may look like the videos are out of line. That's YouTube; they decide what's good and what what ain't. So, um, it's really interesting how how this analytic stuff work. But they removed the video, and which is really crazy to me because so that means you don't want the white you don't want this person identified. Wow. Anyway, she went further to state uh, the actions of this person created an atmosphere of hostility and tension. That this individual's sole aim was to incite violence. Now I may agree with that, but that um, but he didn't create the atmosphere of hostility and tension. Darren Chavez, when he got on George uh, Floyd's neck. And actually performed the lynching right before our very eyes. That's what incited the hostility and the rage in the people. And that visual, that that will never go away. And it's etched in people's minds. So, you know, it's a mind fuck. As well as knowing what happened. This is the kind of stuff you have to work to get hard out of your psychic. You have to go and purge yourself. Do your uh, salts and other things to keep purging yourself from the evil demonic spirits going on. So it just wasn't this umbrella man. You know, it's been a consistent um, proverbial foot on black folks' neck. Black and brown people and they just sick of it. 
Police reportedly believe the suspect is a member of the Hells Angel biker, biker gang and an associate of the Aryan Cowboy Brotherhood, a white supremacist group based primarily in Minnesota and Kentucky. He was identified thanks to a tip that came via email last week and also is suspected of accosting a Muslim woman. A Muslim woman? In Stillwater late last month while wearing white supremacist apparel, the star reported. He has not been charged with the crime, so the tribute did not reveal his name. This remains to be an open and active investigation in which we will be unable to comment. There are no charges of file at this time. We cannot comment on this case, Minneapolis police spokesman John Elder said in a statement with the Daily News on Tuesday. You know, it's mighty funny y'all talk all kinds of shit about us. Uh, you know, whether you have all the information on the case or not. You know, this is the same crap that's going on with the Breonna Taylor case. He's still waiting for information. Come on. Because word on the street is this is a gentrified, like the video I did a few, well, a few weeks ago. Every, it's starting to be common knowledge now that y'all that they were trying to get the people out of that area, and so uh, by any means necessary, is it a secret police force? Was this something that a high a, a different um, a order that came? I don't know. I'm just saying. Um. Prior to the filming of the window smashing video, the suspect allegedly was seen carrying a black umbrella and spray painting the phase free shit, oops, free blank for everyone's own on the AutoZone's double doors. When the video of Umbrella Man first went viral in the wake of George Floyd's death at the hands of the ex Minneapolis. Police officer. Mm, let me go back to that. When the video of Umbrella Man first went viral in the wake of George Floyd's death at the hands of an ex Minneapolis police officer, Derek Chauvin, some on social media speculated that he was a St. Paul police officer. <laughs> St. Paul responded by releasing a time stamp surveillance video showing that the officer in question was in St. Paul at the time of the incident. So, um, you know, this is something that is um, really um, interesting. It's going to pick up more steam as time goes on because what you're going to find out is there's a lot of agent provocateurs that are out there promoting chaos uh, so they can keep promoting this narrative that um, not not saying that we shouldn't be tired of what is happening to us, but that uh, that we are the leaders of this mayhem but and that the author, we're the authors of this craziness. No. And I think this is very important because, um, of course, you're going to see a lot more of this in the different cities that start when they start going to different places and being in infested with these fed officers or these stormtroopers, whatever you call them. You're going to see a lot more of this and it gives the they want to talk about Antifa. But they don't really want to identify the white supremacists by their names. Um, and they don't want to call out white supremacy. So this attorney bar guy uh, is, of course, another white supremacist. And um, until we make a sweeping effort to remove these white supremacists from this country and take it back like they did in South Africa, then, you know, we're going to continue to get this craziness. Hey, Daisy, no. Y'all, excuse me one minute. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, I had to get um, Daisy. But what I was trying to say is, 
you know, there's a lot, a lot of white supremacists, um, and there's a lot. The new America can't look like this. We can't go into the new America whether I make it in there with you or not. The new America has got to look different. You know, I would. I know there was a time that the children in South Africa didn't think it could look different. They didn't think that apartheid could be removed from the land. And um, it took a lot of effort, a continuous fight. And I just hope that y'all don't let up on this one. We can't let up. We can't let up. But stuff like this has to be exposed, okay? Because we, we, we have to move in the spirit of the people that we are. And we can't let these agent provocateurs, whether they're black or white, to put you in a situation where you are not defending justice wholeheartedly, where you are not defending what's right for the human family, period, specifically the black man and woman of this planet who have built this great country. Okay? So that right there and just that footage that they removed from um, YouTube is enough. For me to know that you're going to have some manipulation as well. And you got to be mindful of that. You know. So. It is what it is. And I thought it was a great article. And um, just be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. And expose those types. Every chance you get. 